Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. Is it worth ordering? Is it worth reading? Is it even worth your time opening that book? So my name is Jelena Ostrovska from JelenaOstrovska.com and in this video I'm super super excited to bring you out a book review on the book that I have just mentioned by Russell Brunson, Expert Secrets. So if you don't know uh, who Russell is, he is the owner and the creator of one of the biggest software companies in the online marketing industry called ClickFunnels. You know, the whole idea of creating a funnel for your business and, you know, in increasing profits for your companies using the internet. So, uh, and he has come out with two books, right? So those are be uh, two uh, best-selling books. The first one, Dotcom Secrets. I'm gonna link to uh, the review on this I did earlier, so be sure to check that out after you watch this video. And the second book called Expert Secrets. So basically, this is the underground playbook for creating a mass movement of people who will pay you for your advice. So it's all about growing your business based, you know, like your expert business, okay? So I will share with you five of the biggest lessons that I got out of this book that uh, will really make you want to read the entire book uh, yourself. So be sure to order it. I will link it down below in the description. I will leave a link down here as well in the cards. Uh, so uh, it's a free book. All you have to do is just pay the shipping and it's going to be delivered right to your house. So um, like I said, there's two books, so if you already have two or if you don't have either one of those, I'm going to link this book as well. Uh, the order in which I recommend for you to read them is the order that they came out. Obviously, Dotcom Secrets was the first one, like I've already mentioned, and this one, read it the second, okay? Read it afterwards, because in the Dotcom Secrets, you're really going to understand the concept of funnels, the concept of, you know, developing those profitable funnels, and in Expert Secrets, you're going to take it even further uh, by identifying what is going to be your expertise. So let's go ahead and dive right into the lessons. Lesson number one is the riches are in the niches. Okay, so I've talked about this plenty of times in my previous videos, but if you really want to build a successful business, you need to have a niche where you're going to dominate okay so you can't just expect to go into you know a niche of like i'm gonna be a makeup guru right so figure out who is going to be your your angel who is going to be your ideal client who is going to be you know maybe like that specific age range for whom you're going to be creating makeup tutorials or uh if you're going to be going into real estate so i have a friend who's uh specializing specifically in um, you know, selling luxury, luxury real estate to her clients, right? So figure out what is going to be your niche. And the way Russell explains it in the book, basically you identify three big markets that are uh, available to you where you can go in and dominate. Then you categorize them into sub markets, right? So now you start niching down out of the three big, you know, markets, you create sub markets. And then out of that, you choose a niche. Okay, so let's say if you want to uh, position yourself as a doctor and maybe build your Instagram following or, you know, whatever else, it's not going to be that good of an idea. Okay, if you're going to go generic route, instead, you know, look at the bigger, biggest markets, you know, in a uh, medical field and then identify, okay, so how can I niche down, you know, what is my specialty? The same thing applies, you know, if we are talking about doctors, you don't go to generic doctor to get a surgery, okay? You go to a specific particular surgeon, you don't go to a generic doctor to um, get your teeth fixed, you know what I mean? So you go to a, a specialist, right? So that's how you have to treat your business as well. So the doctors that make the most amount of money in their profession are the ones that specialize. And you have to specialize as well because if you're a generic doctor, no one's gonna go to you. you and if you feel like you are attracting everybody because you're a generic doctor, you're wrong, okay? So you need to have somebody, you need to have, um, you need to have a niche. You, ha you have to be a specialist in your field and that way you're going to attract a really, um, not gonna say small audience, but it's going to be a really targeted audience of people who are willing to pay you for your expertise and they're willing to pay, you know, whatever amount you set because you are specializing in that, okay? So number two, this is a big one, okay? Because we as entrepreneurs generally are scared to do that, which Russell says being polar is what attracts raving fans, okay? So when it comes to building our audiences, it's not just about 
you know, I'm just gonna build a million followers on YouTube or I'm just going to drive traffic to my Facebook business page and everything's gonna be good. No, you need to have raving fans, like the fans who are going to follow every single step of yours, the fans that are going to, uh, I'm not going to say like jump off a building for you, but the fans who are going to really pursue you in every single endeavor, right? So whether that's going to be you launching a product or you launching a membership or you're going to be like creating different offers, so they are willing not necessarily buy everything you recommend, although that usually is uh, a part of the process, but also they're willing to follow you and support you in everything that you're doing. And being polar is going to be a huge part of it because this is why not a lot of entrepreneurs succeed because we're not willing to polarize our audience, okay? Because we're trying to make sure that everybody likes us, okay? So, and, and that's actually not okay because, you know, if everybody likes you, then like, how are you going to attract your ideal audience? Because here's the thing, you can't be liked by everybody. You just can't. Okay, so there has to be something that's going to differentiate you. So you have to have some sort of beliefs that people would disagree with you on. So I have those beliefs, okay? So, and whenever I do share something, you know, there have been so many times that people have disagreed on with me and that's okay. So you do need to find uh, something that's go you're going to either stand for or something that's going you, uh, something that's you that you're going to stand against, right? So for me, for example, I have mentioned plenty of times that you don't need a degree if you're trying to make it out in life. Obviously, I always say like a little disclaimer that if you want to be a doctor, you better go get a diploma for that. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. But everything else, and there have been so many people that disagree with me. So the other um, a couple of years ago, I did a video. It was a Facebook Live where I talked about how affirmations are a waste of time. So, and I elaborated on it, okay? So I gave my full perspective on it. The amount of views that I've gotten on it has been crazy, right? Uh, so, and there have been so many people that disagreed and there have been so many, so many people who blocked me, unfriended me, and that's fine. So you do need to have something that's going to attract your audience because if you have a strong opinion about something, trust me, there's going to be... Uh, like hundreds of people just like you who are going to agree with you and because of that because of the way you polarize because of that particular opinion they're going to be like oh my gosh that person like that expert thinks exactly how i think so you know and they're they're really going to feel that connection with you all right so number three so you have to convince people emotionally first when it comes to your offers before they will be excited by your logic okay so be like we as human beings we always make emotional decisions okay so like the initial decision before we buy anything we always think logic uh we always think emotionally okay so because when you're reading a sales page or you're watching some kind of video or you're watching a webinar and then there comes a point where you are presented with an offer then first we are being hit emotionally okay so we you know, figure out how we can, you know, like how this can really benefit us and emotions get involved, right? So they always do, but then we justify it with logic. Okay. So let's say for me, for example, whenever I make a decision to purchase something, uh, let's say it's an educational training program or something like this, where like, I'm willing to invest in my, you know, in myself. So what I first, you know, when I first, when first I'm being presented with an offer, like I mentioned earlier, I'm getting all emotional and I get all excited by the numbers and the big promise of the course and what I'm getting in it. And you know, all this, all this kind of stuff. But then my logic starts coming in. And then I try to justify my decision with the logic, okay? So, and then my brain starts speaking, you know, do you really need this? Is this something you're going to implement right now? Is this something that's going to be life-changing right this moment? And then, again, like, you know, but first, like, emotions are always going to be stronger than the logic, and only then the logic is going to come in. So when it comes to you selling something, you can't hit your prospects with just a logic, okay? So let's say if you're talking with somebody 101 and they're telling you all about their goals, like that's emotions right there. So, and when it comes to you closing that person, it's not about the logic, right? So, I mean, surely they're gonna justify their investment or, you know, their opportunity to work with you with the logic, but in the, like the first decision is going to be made with emotions, okay? So keep that in mind. So, um, 
like I said, you are always going to use the logic to justify the purchase uh, decision, but that you have already made with your emotions. All right, so that's huge. Uh, so whenever you are writing copy or whenever you are making offers or something like that, don't think logically. Think of emotions and how you can um, how you can reach your potential customers with emotions. How you how they can relate to you based on their emotions, and then only then they're going to justify that with the logic. Right. So number three. This is big. You are not an expert until people pay you for your expertise. So one thing that Russell does mention in the book that I love, because a lot of the times, you know, you get started, you have a lot of knowledge in your brain, and then you are trying to figure out, okay, so how can I get people to, you know, to pay me? Like, how can I help them with my expertise? How can I cut, you know, either their learning curve? How can I make their lives better and easier with my current, you know, with my skill sets? So what Russell said, and this is something that you may want to try out in your particular business, um, you know, depending obviously what niche that is. But if you're just starting out, a lot of the times you need to practice and do some work for free, right? So I've done it. I mean, I've given people plenty of advice for free. I've gotten on coaching calls for free. Um, you know, I've given lots and lots of, you know, free advice for free out there before I even started charging for coaching or before I even started creating products or anything like that. So I wasn't really an expert back then until, you know, I have gotten some of my first clients, right? So, and I recommend for you the same thing. You know, if you're just starting out, like if you're trying to do maybe like coaching or um, consulting, so get the first few clients for free. And it doesn't have to be like a, like 10, 20 clients, you know, get the first three to five beta uh, clients, help them get results, get those case studies, okay? So focus on your clients, even if it's a free client, I mean, like all you really, all you really have to care about is them getting a result and then uh, turning that result into a case study that you can then use to sell your service and actually become that expert. Is that making sense? So, uh, but you're not an expert until people actually pay you for your expertise. So just keep that in mind. And last but not least, this is big when it comes to, um, when it comes to selling and when it comes to copywriting as well, when it comes to you sitting down and writing a sales page or you, um, you know, like creating a webinar because we all have different beliefs. We all have different belief patterns and we're usually being like, we're usually born with belief patterns that are not that helpful for us in business. So what are we usually being taught when we're just growing up, right? So we are being told uh, money doesn't grow in trees, um, you know, rich people are evil and, you know, like all kinds of like weird beliefs that our, you know, parents and grandparents used to have or still have. And then we have to reprogram that. So your prospects right now, they're probably still having the exact same belief patterns. So you have to help them reframe that. And I, I just gave you an example. There are plenty of other belief patterns that, uh, you know, they, they might be having. So you do have to identify break and rebuild those belief patterns because they're false in order for people to take action. So the reason people are not buying your products is because of those belief patterns is because they don't see how their lives can be changed, you know, with your products or consulting packages or your offers or whatever you call it, right? So uh, whatever you have to offer. So make sure that that's one of the things that you're going to focus on. So help them identify those beliefs, identify, help them identify that they are false and then help them rebuild that because once they see the light at the end of the tunnel, then only then they're going to see the vision of how you can help them um, you know, change their lives, change their business, help them with their marketing plan or, you know, anything else that you're helping with, you know, helping to your clients. So that's uh, all I got for you. I really hope you got some value from this video. So be sure to pick up the book. I'll leave a link down below and I'll leave it uh, up here in the cards as well. So check it out. Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. And if you don't have the first book, Dotcom Secrets, definitely get it as well. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to share with the friends and uh, uh, also subscribe to my channel for new videos and turn hit the bell sign uh, right below so you get notified whenever I share new content, which is every single week. And uh, for more videos just like this uh, and trainings, you can go get on over to my website, julianastrovska.com, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.